We move to the right again, where we have the youngest of the kings, that elfish looking figure who looks like he just rode out of Lord of the Rings, is the third of the Magi. And then to the right of him, you have these figures, these horses that have turned orthogonally because the artist wants us to turn and move on to this wall here to my left. When we turn the corner, you'll notice that window behind me, which was actually a later addition, right? Added when the uh, Riccardi family purchased the palace and knocked through the 15th century wall. The second king is the gentleman that you see riding that white horse above what was the original door of the chapel, right? Much more to scale with the actual size of the space. And the face of that king is actually a portrait of the Byzantine emperor, John Paleologos. He had come to Florence in the year 1439 for the famous Council of Florence, okay? In fact, the most important historic event to ever have taken place in the city of Florence was this particular council. I describe it to my students as a G20 times an Olympics times a World Cup all happening simultaneously in this city. All Christian leaders converged upon Florence to decide what to do about the Ottoman threat, right? Knocking at the door of a city we once called Constantinople. And that event, of course, was sponsored by the Medici. So what they're doing here is showing off these great personalities and celebrities that they brought from throughout the world to the city of Florence. Right? It's like walking into my office and seeing photos of me with world leaders. Right? It adds to the prestige of the family.